Hey guys, I thought it might be neat to show you how quickly you can set up the fold away um, sleeping platform I have in the back of the truck um, give you an idea of how long it'll take to go from pulling up to camp until when you can go to bed. I know that's a big deal for a lot of people with the rooftop tents. They're always um, talking about having a setup that's quicker than the other one and how one minute makes such a big difference. So I think it might be interesting to time this and give you an idea of how long it takes me to uh, set this up and get into bed. So let's start a stopwatch. really needs a couple more hinges and it'll be a lot smoother than I've never got around to that yet. This is probably the longest part and this could change depending on your setup um, but this is my particular sleeping pad in here you can see it's dirty from riding in the truck. Um, but I'm guessing Putting this away is the longest part because packing it in there is a little difficult. So that's the pad in there. Usually I put this under there as well. That doesn't take any extra time. Um, a lot of people ride with the bedding in their rooftop tents, so. diagonal in here. Um, sometimes I'll use two sleeping bags. I need to get a down sleeping bag of my own. Um, that's my setup for when it's really cold out. But what is it? Two minutes and 10 seconds just now. G-Shock range man. Best watch ever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's my setup. Um, as far as tearing it down, I think the tear down is about the same time. Only. Obviously packing away the pad takes a couple of takes a little bit longer. Um, the cool thing is, if I wanted to leave right now, I don't need to take down the tent. All I have to do is use up the truck. Um, I'm good to go. Um, another interesting point, which I can see you thinking right now, is once I, how do I get in there and how do I get out? Um, pretty simple. I usually start out um, with this setup. I'll take my shoes off and tuck them under here. Um, and then I usually just come in, you can grab the tailgate still. I know this probably looks funny on video, but this is how it is in real life, you guys. Uh, once it's shut, we're good. I got lights in here. Um, I got a place to charge my phone. Um, it's like you're in bed with me right now. <laughs> I have a little phone mount up here. Uh, that was actually a big convenience upgrade because I have stuff like once you're in here, um, your keys and your phone and stuff can get lost or whatnot, but just adding that uh, was was actually a big upgrade. So plug my phone in there. I'm good to go. I've got the lights in here on and off. I've got a second switch for the auxiliary lights on the outside. So I'll usually turn these on in the cab and this switch turns them on and off once they're already turned on in the cab. So I turn them on, crawl in here, turn them off. And then if I hear something crazy outside, I can flash those on. Um, and that helps when I'm getting out, you know, I don't get scared so that's that and then yeah you just close it up like this so i hope you like the video no i'm just kidding <laughs> but that's the setup easy enough to get in and out and sleep in the back of your truck at a moment's notice or two minutes and 10 seconds notice anyways i hope you guys like watching let me know if there's another video you want to see it's fun to make these so yeah have a good day